following me? Oh fuck! How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. And I am I just got to room 300 and I'm gonna continue on. I uh I actually said two parts ago that uh I ooh, I like the look of this place. I I guess I should be saying I don't like the look of this. But I said two parts ago that I am going to be um, taking this game real slow and just playing it in between games. And I wouldn't be releasing all the parts all in like a big chunk or anything. But then um, I'm kind of getting addicted to it. That was a complete circle. So I... Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this. I, th I think I... Uh, Okay, so not forward. Forward? Right? Forward? Forward? Forward, right, f forward, left is what it's gonna be. Yep. So I've been playing, um, I think I'm gonna play this game in a couple big chunks right now and uh, get it finished. So you can expect um, a lot more of these pretty soon. I think the effectiveness of the specimen is also somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyways, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the innermost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonists will look like. I hope they are cute. Most of the antagonists in the game are cute, because they're, uh, they're just popping out of the wall. I I can't imagine like what what kind of you know scenery or action's gonna happen at room um this is interesting kind of looks like like zelda i kind of wonder what interaction's gonna happen at like the last few rooms there's a bunch of masks on the wall it is zelda Ooh, hello i like that mask there, nah, there's no right here one day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. But just afterwards, he came running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and so angry, watched him frantically crash and dive into the water until he never came back to the surface of the water. Oh. I'll pick the key. Okay. So he... Is there any other? Okay. I was just making sure I couldn't pick any of that other stuff up. So he died trying to save his puppets. There better not be anything in there here. Okay. Because he thought they were like his children. I didn't check the leftmost room in that last day. Oh. oh boy, that locked. Yeah. Skull door is creepy. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. They killed the dude. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. And as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. Those puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. Can't pick it up. Can't pick it up. There we go. This one is really creepy. Okay, so I have to go through this door. I'm gonna save my sprint meter because there's gonna be something creepy soon. Oh! Oh! Oh, please. 
Hop it. of choice now nothing you do is your fault now you belong to something I didn't read the last line game over oh. okay I am back at this creepy skull door and he's yet here yep he's right there hello fuck you that one's locked okay so I know he's really fast so I just gotta keep moving I, I can get lucky, I can get rooms that aren't as long as that one, and I can live. As long as my health keeps going up, I got at least two more hits in me. So that's, that's the good news. The bad news is this guy's a creepy fucker. Sorry to keep swearing, he's, he's legitimately creeping me the hell out. Master. I have no clue who he is or I think um I think I remember I, I haven't actually played it I think I remember a friend talking about it before I think it's a uh, mod to um, Legend of Zelda I think that's what he comes from it, it had to I, just because I remember the um talking about drowning Don't quote me on that. I wouldn't exactly know. I'm just, I'm just, just trying to say that I, I kind of have heard the reference before. And other references that I've really caught are, um, I know there's been a Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's see if there's new any, any new specimen on the cat dos. Hello. Okay. There we go. There he is. A wooden life-size puppet found floating in the reservoir where a town had once been specimen is active despite appearance and has proved very effective on subjects who disregard it and or have vision impairment let's see what else there is unknown leaving right away. Not, not even taking time to find out. I don't think there's anything chasing me. The music hasn't changed. Creepy sounds. Holy fuck! What the hell? That got creepy. Oh, man. What are they drawing that? Okay, so three... 
340, it gets creeper. Creepier. Oh, man. 350, there's no checkpoint? I have to go all the way to 400? Okay. Alright. I guess that's fine. I can... I can deal with it. That's just... It's good to know now that there's a lack of checkpoints here. So that means I probably have to go the full 200 or 100 every time. I think the effectiveness of specimen is somehow related to the kill. I already read this. That was the same one I read at the last uh, checkpoint. Oh, I remember I died and then I technically didn't pick it up again. Metal sound was still going. He didn't have a face drawn on. That one, like, is gonna give me nightmares though. Just cause it has that creepy face drawn on it. It looks like almost like they just slapped a creepy face, like, just right on top of it. Just like, they're like, you're not scary enough. Here you go. Alright, I'm, I'm getting up there, so I imagine I have to, I'm gonna be chased soon enough. By something. Ooh. I can't believe I'm get, actually getting like creeped out by this game. It's so cute, and I didn't think that any of this would weird me out as much as it has. And I'm saying that now because the next few hundred floors, there's something. that I'm facing him in these rooms because he gets stuck. So I have the tactical advantage. Plus I haven't heard the clicking yet. So he's really not too close to me yet. What the? Okay. He just made a sound as the as I was getting away from him. From him. Alright, I, I just have to assume that um, there's going to be a higher frequency in people chasing me and there's going to be more creepy things than ever before. So, we're good. Chandelier. I honestly thought it was something when I first walked in the room. I didn't think it was a chandelier. Chandelier is going to kill me. Fuck. Oh, man. Damn it. We have a repeating hallway. Okay. Note. This is such a surprise that, that there would be another entry, almost actual another actual entry one I could admire but then I suddenly as I came it left and now you disband your influence and inspiration will never leave me oh boy that's gonna be a different note oh no it's the same okay I can go through that I was getting worried some that something was gonna just appear why am I not running? I was like walking like If I move slowly it can't scare me That's how I think they like plan their wall scares They just like get you, They wait till you're like running and then they just Pop them out. Okay, my 
machine again? I'm not checking it, but... Okay. Keep that blood pumping. Save. I just realized that I never had a mentor figure. Thrall, trial, or leaving home scene. That means the story isn't following the archetype that makes me a traditional hero, which means I can be killed off. Well, if it was nice for a little while at least, well, it was nice for a little while at least, keep that blood pumping. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys for the next 100 rooms. Bye.